welcome back to Ducky World, um, where we talk about matters education, um, teaching, and how to support our children um, in the education. Um, if you have not subscribed to our channel, kindly subscribe, um, watch our videos, and let us know what you think about our content, and also share some views on what we've already shared. So in the last few um, episodes, we've been talking about um, different curriculums and we've gone in depth of the CBC curriculum. And I was to do my next video of another curriculum, but then uh, there's this question I've been getting a lot on my LinkedIn profile. I'm thinking majorly it's because this is pretty much the prime season for international schools to advertise. So the question is, how do I become a teacher in an international school? Now. This video will just focus on that. How do you become a teacher in an international school? I will not talk about the qualifications yet. Maybe that's something to share in my next video. I'm just letting you know how to become a teacher in an international school. Um, yeah, I will base um, the video on my experience and my friend's experience and share our experiences. Um, what has really worked out for some of us, what has not worked out. Or, uh, some of us and leave it up to you to decide the path you're gonna take um, if you want to become a teacher in an international school so the first thing um, I will shed some light on is uh, you might have to intern to become an intern at some point internships are majorly meant to um, to mold you to familiarize you um, with the work setup so when you're working as an intern, you get to learn a lot. You get a lot of trainings. You get um, to to learn on the job, uh, but with a bit of limited access uh, to the actual thing that you're looking for. So yeah, you can become an intern in any organization you want, any international school. I'm not sure which international schools offers internships, but sometimes you think it's you just apply, and if they have a need. They're happy to take you on because you're kind of easing the burden now do these internships pay no most of them will not pay or they will pay you peanuts just your fare to and from but is it worth in the end yes i always tell people look at the bigger picture what do you want at the end of the year um, and if your bigger picture is the internship position is in line with your bigger picture then take it and another similar um um, similar avenue to, to becoming a teacher is becoming a volunteer and yeah you might wonder like really volunteer work for free and I'll tell you yes sometimes you just have to do that um, to get to understand the curriculum to get to understand the systems how the systems work and then while you're at it you make sure you become really good at it good enough for the school not to want to let you go so become proactive take courses i'm gonna talk about that towards the end so i remember like my first job i got i applied for a volunteer position and they offered me a job they were like uh we we're impressed you wanted to volunteer so we have a job that actually pays are you interested to take it or do you still want to volunteer and they made it clear that we don't take volunteers but if you want the intent of the, the job we have we can pay you a little money better than working for free and I was happy to take it so sometimes you may need you to take that step of volunteering um, for you to get where you want to go at the end remember I have this in mind as I continue sharing these insights I want you to think about the bigger picture where do you want to see yourself three four five years from now if you want to see yourself at a very high position then some of these measures you might have to take them so you can either intern, you can either volunteer, and the third one is you can start small. What do I mean by start small? You either start in a small school, um, don't become overly ambitious from campus, you want to work in Braven um, as a class teacher or as an English teacher. It happens for people, but very small percentage. Be willing to start maybe as a teaching assistant. These are jobs um, that they're not very well, they're not taken very nicely, but if your uh, aim is to learn on the job, then this would be something you can actually start off at. Um, 
or start in a small school if you want to become a class teacher then go to a school that's just trying to get itself established um, be willing to be paid um, little money to just get yourself acquainted with the system get yourself to understand how the systems work how the curriculum works and um, who knows one two years down the line you might apply for a better job somewhere else and get it so be willing to start small um, um, yeah, and I also have friends who really started um, small teaching assistants, small in very small schools, and five years down the line, they're doing really well with their careers. They're holding nice positions in this international school. And my fourth way of getting into international schools is taking the risk of leaving the country. Yeah, I said it. I wish I had someone to tell me this five years ago. Um, and show me why it's important and maybe today I wouldn't be where I am so leaving the country international schools today they want teachers you can be so good but most schools are looking for someone with international experience now the only way you get international experience is if you leave your country and go work in another country yep I said it now you might wonder who will take me as a fresh graduate um, most countries are happy to offer you a job that will not pay you awesomely well but like i said it's all dependent on the bigger picture five years from now where do you want to see yourself if it's being as in the senior leadership team somewhere then you might have to go for that experience get that little money and then maybe come back or move to another country better job and keep going up and growing and growing and progressing with your career until you eventually get where you want um friends who left the country as soon as you graduated are milestones are way ahead of me who's stuck in the country and decided i want to build my career in this big schools in this country if i had someone to tell me then i would leave for whatever salary you're getting out there then you can always come back for better because once you have that international experience in your cv Trust me, it looks different. Your CV is just transformed. Everyone wants a piece of you. You will get into schools that a lot of people who've been stuck in Kenya may not be able to get to. You may get leadership roles in those schools that a lot of us who are still stuck in Kenya may not get. Yeah, you notice I say us a lot. Story for another day. So yeah, you have to be willing to leave the country um, and uh, take up a job there. It may not be paying as prestigiously as you want, but just take it one year, two years down the line, move to another country or come back with international experience. Very, very key international experience. And then the fifth way you can get into international schools um, is by sheer luck. Yes, you also have people who graduated fresh from campus and became class teachers in very big schools. But they're very minimal, the percentage is very low compared to people who took a brave step of being interns or volunteers or starting small or leaving the country. The lucky ones are very little, negligible percentage. Maybe they knew someone somewhere. So take my advice on this. Intern in that school, become that volunteer, start in that small school. And if you can leave the country, come back with international experience or go to another country countries are looking for international teachers with international experience okay and my final parting shot while you're at this please be proactive whether you choose to become an intern whether you choose to become a volunteer whether you are starting small whether you're leaving the country be proactive at whatever position you get to begin with what do I mean by proactive? Don't just sit and wait for you to be told to do this, do that. No, look for gaps. See how you can fill them. Now, these schools are looking for not just a teacher, but someone who can coach sports, someone who can teach clubs, someone who can lead um, activities, not necessarily academic activities. Be proactive. And something else I wish someone told me again is take up as many courses as you can professional development courses position yourself for that position you want in the end align yourself with that big position you want in the end of your career in an international school um, i would love to talk about this in details 
but not in this one i was really hoping to make this one less than 10 minutes and can see how 10 seconds to go so yeah those five those four main ways can easily land you a job in an international school qualifications next video all right again thank you so much for watching let me know i mean if you have a school that you know takes in terms of volunteers let's help each other out just uh, post the schools at the bottom with either volunteers or internships and give us a bit more details of how these internships or volunteer positions look like if they're paid maybe or not if there's room for growth or not let us share experience and and, and grow with each other um as well once again thank you so much for watching thank you so much uh, for taking your time and and hearing this out i hope this information really benefits a teacher out there who's kind of stuck with a career not sure what to do what the next move is i hope this really sheds some light um on that and i have to say before i close it this one just clicked my mind i've shared this um these steps with people before but they've come back and say oh it's not working oh no it won't work but by applying to five schools you might need to go through a website and apply for even 50 jobs before you get that one dream job i applied before I got my first teaching job i apl i applied for jobs from um april may june and got a job in august yeah so like five months of nothing but applying knocking in those doors and asking do you need volunteers do you need interns um applying in small schools and big schools i mean it, it's it's not easy I, i'm not telling you like you'll just send five applications and get an interview no you might need to send 50 before you even take yourself one interview especially if you have no experience you're fresh from campus but is it possible is it possible to join these schools yes yes it is i'll see you in our next video when you talk about actually the qualifications you need to teach in these schools what are some of the papers you may that may boost your chances of teaching um in international schools i'll see you on the next video for that thank you so much for watching and kindly if you've not subscribed again subscribe to our channel and comment on anything any insight that you might have let's help each other out and until next time do this see you Bye-bye.